Aloha. I have another cancer study. Yay. <laughs> Seems like they're coming out every day. So there's constantly work being done if they just actually come out with something, you know, something new and viable. Seems like all this stuff is just kind of surface I, I you know it's like little tiny steps that aren't going very far I don't know we'll see this one is does eating organic food reduce cancer risk uh, this is kind of something that's been going on for years I think I referred to it in one of the first cancer studies that I reported on um, in fact, I know I did because there's a line in here that I remember talking about before. Um, this is by Anne, I'm not sure how to pronounce her last name, Stick, Stick, S-T-Y-C-H. And she is a contributing writer with, <gasps> it did not print out. Um, I actually, I pulled this up from um, Biz Journals online. And the research was published in the Journal of American Medical, or the, the JAMA Internal Medicine, and JAMA being Journal of, America, Journal of the American Medical Association. So very respectable source. Um, so basically it's uh, that people who eat organic food are less likely to get cancer, uh, but more research is needed. Seems like that, that's always a tagline, more research is needed. Um, let's see, the research found that people who eat organic food are 25% less likely to get cancer. Uh, the team that did the study was, it was done in France apparently. Um, I'm not even going to try and say this because it's in French and I will slaughter it. Um, but it was the team was led by Julia Baudry, uh, who is an epidemiologist, and they looked at the diets of nearly 69,000 French volunteers, and three fourths of those were women, with an average age of their in the mid 40s. Um, they were categorized into four different groups, and depending on how often they ate different organic products and then they were followed for about five years. Um, the group that ate the most organic was found to be 25% less likely than the group that ate the least organic. 25% likely to develop cancer than the group that ate the least organic. Total of 1,340 subjects developed cancer during the study period. I think that's overall. But the findings also considered factors such as age, class, and existing health. Um, now, I did not go back into the, the JAMA study to look at um, all of the details. So I'm just going by the article that I read. Um, other experts are advising caution because it's unclear whether Quantifying organic food consumption correctly calculates reduced exposure to pesticide residue. Um, and then there is also the uh, another Frank Hu, chair of the Department of Nutrition at the Chan School of Public Health and another co-author of the commentary pointed out that people who can afford to eat organic foods are typically more healthy to begin with and that the study does not provide any socioeconomic data about the participants. And that is what I remember from, I think it was the very first cancer study that I reported on. Um, they were talking about socioeconomic and organic foods. So um, the people, or they were talking a lot about socioeconomics because those are the people who tend to exercise more, um, take better care of their health, they eat more organically, you know, they do certain things that those in poorer, 
poorer economic conditions do not do. And so um, that's what I remember from the first one. And I will link that one down below and up here. Um, let's see, when Consumer Reports compared the cost of 100 organic and non-organic products in a 2015 study, the organic foods were an average of 47% more expensive, which is why most people don't eat organic, you know, who can afford to? It would be nice if we all could, wouldn't it? Um, let's see, who, um, Frank Who, also noted that although the study implies that people who ate more organic foods were less exposed to pesticides, pesticide residues, it does not examine their overall diet and potential consumption of cancer-causing agents on other foods that they may have been eating along with the organic products. Um, so people who eat organically may also be drinking sodas and, um, I don't know, red meat, you know, all the things that they say can cause cancer that, you know, they could be eating organic fruits and vegetables and still be eating all this other stuff. Um, you know, frozen foods or something that have all the chemicals in it. Um, so then the last thing that it says in the article is organic food intake is notorious, notoriously difficult to assess and its self-report is highly susceptible to confounding by positive health behaviors and socioeconomic factors. And that was by Frank Hu, a, a direct quote. So does organic food reduce cancer risk? Maybe, who knows? More study required. <laughs> um, so that's that one. And as I said, I'll put the links in below and so you can go check out the article yourself. And um, I actually, I have another one here that I'm going to post. And I talked about this one in my last study about, um, it's actually a, a website called Count Me In where you can post your, not post, but you can send them your cancer history and they will use it for future studies. It's not something that goes out to the public. It's just kept, you know, under un, under secure for research. And I'll report on that so you have it. But that's the next one coming up, unless something big hits the fan in the meantime. So I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.